my painting of Hero. Whoa, that's nice. How did yours turn out, Leo? Um... <laughs> it's a little abstract. Ranger Leo speaking. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. How's the zebra migration going? Have they found fresh grass? Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. The zebras are still on the move, but a mother zebra has lost its baby in the herd. <gasps> oh, no! Luckily, I have a photo of it. Can you come over to help me find the baby? Of course, Jane. The photo will come in handy. Hang tight. We'll be right over. Cool. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Now let's go. Let's find out more about zebras. And get away from this pesky fly. Here it is. The plains zebra. Plains zebras are the most common species of zebras. Zebras are part of the horse family and they are known for their black and white stripes. Every year, thousands of zebras migrate, traveling over great distances to look for food, like fresh grasses and water. Oh boy, that's a lot of them, and they all look the same. Actually, each zebra has a different stripe pattern. No two zebras have the same stripes. Like human fingerprints, its pattern is unique, so we just have to match the stripes. And since we have a picture of the baby zebra, it'll be a snap. Hmm, stripes and patterns? I think I'll bring our paint along, just in case. Good idea, Katie. Look at all those zebras. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Don't worry, Mama Zebra. We'll find your baby. Let's see. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stripes. Whoa, too many. Huh? Leo, are you okay? Oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> the stripes are a little confusing. Hmm, let's see what else we can find. Ouch, not again. And I thought the fly in our backyard was bad. This fly is worse. It bites. I got it. It says here that scientists scan zebra stripes like barcodes to tell them apart. Uh-huh. So, we can do the same thing. I'll make a zebra stripe scanner. Got it. Now I just have to... Done! There is our scanner. Cool. You just have to aim it at a zebra. And it's a success if the stripes match. Aim at a zebra. Ugh, these pesky flies are getting in the way. Why aren't the flies bugging the zebras? Maybe it's because they've got stripes and you don't. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? Not only do zebra stripes look cool, we're starting to find out that it could be pretty useful, too. Scientists think that one of its functions is to confuse insects like flies, making it harder for them to land on zebras. And if they can't land, they can't bite. Nifty, don't you think? I'll be buzzing off now. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky! How are we gonna get stripes, Katie? Oh, you'll see. This is so cool! It's a good thing you brought the paint over. Hopefully this will get those flies to buzz off. Now, let's get back to looking for the baby zebra. We'll have to scan every one of them. Katie, Hero, and I will use our jetpacks to get a better view. Jane, you brought your own ride? The baby's mother insisted. <laughs> let's go, Rangers! Jetpack jet activate! activate. What if we scanned all the zebras at once? I'll have to use your camera, Hero. It's scanning. Let's see if we can find a match this time. Oh, what's this? It's a match. We found the baby. Yes! <gasps> Leo, no! Oops! <laughs> Huh? Oh no! Jane, we've got trouble! 
I know. Can you get to the baby? I'm sending you its coordinates. We'll take care of the herd. Got it. Stop it! Calm down! There's nothing to be afraid of! Hang in there, little one! We can't keep this up much longer! We need something to stop these zebras! Something to stop them? Way to go, Zumi! you guys it'd be a snap well <laughs> kind of <laughs> <laughs> my turn wow oops uh oh it looks stuck no biggie i'll just climb up to get it oh hi junior ranger kyle well help it happened so fast she was just beside me and now she's gone i can't believe it what am I gonna do? Whoa, Kyle, slow down. What happened? Who's gone? My Stella, look! Oh, Stella's just a toy. She's not just a toy. She's my best buddy in the whole wide world. And now she's gone forever. Snatched away by a kangaroo thief. A, a kangaroo, kangaroo thief? thief? Yeah, a kangaroo stole Stella from right under my nose. Luckily, I snapped a photo of it before it escaped. I'll send it to you. Is that Stella in its pouch? Yes, I really need your help to get it back. Don't worry, Kyle. Hang tight. We'll be there very soon. That'd be awesome. I'll share my location with you. Ranger out. Ranger out. There it is. It seems our thief is a red kangaroo. The world's largest marsupial. A red kangaroo? What's a marsupial? Marsupials are a group of mammals that carry their young in a pouch. Female kangaroos have a pouch on their belly made by a fold in their skin. They use it to carry their baby kangaroos called jellies. So now we know our thief is a red kangaroo. Let's head to Australia to help Kyle get Stella back. Let's have a look. Hmm, where are you, Stella? Aha, there she is. You see her? Yeah, have a look. Stella, it really is her. But why would a kangaroo want to keep Stella in her pouch? Where's her Joey? Who's Joey? Joey's are baby kangaroos. I don't think she meant to steal Stella. She might have mistaken Stella for her own Joey. That makes perfect sense, Katie. Stella does look like a Joey, which means all we have to do is find her Joey and swap it for Stella. Sounds easy enough, but how are we gonna find it? <gasps> it's her Joey. Let's follow him. So what's the plan? How are we gonna bring the Joey back to his mom? It says here that red kangaroos are plant eaters. They mostly eat grasses and flowering plants. All right, then. Let's go pick some flowers. Time to go home, buddy. Stella! We're coming! Oh, no! The noise from our vehicles must have frightened them. They're getting away. Kyle! We've got to try to herd them back together. Herd? Like sheeps? Exactly. You approach from that side, and I'll approach from the other. Roger that, Leo. Just a bit closer. It's working. They're gathering in the middle. Wait, stop. We're about to crash into Kyle. Whoa! Whoa! Phew, that was too close. <gasps> They're getting away! Oh, no! Oh, no! Stella! <gasps> Are you okay, Kyle? She was so close. I could have just reached up and grabbed her. What are we gonna do now? It'll be okay. 
We just have to find another way to get closer to the kangaroos without scaring them. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky! It seems the kangaroo isn't afraid of the pogo stick. One of the kangaroos mistook Kyle's toy, Stella, for her Joey. We found the actual Joey, but we're having difficulty swapping him for Stella. The mob got away from us too quickly. Well, if you need to chase after them, then you'll have to hop really fast. Kangaroos hop along on their powerful hind legs and do so at great speed. Their muscular tail helps with balance and speed. So, we have to be quick and we can't use our vehicles. I have an idea! Ranger Rocky, do you happen to have any spare pogo sticks? Of course, Katie. I always bring extras. Look! Kangaroos up ahead! Stella! Come on, Junior Rangers. Let's check those pouches for Stella. Stella? Ah, uh, this one's a boy. This one's got her own Joey already. Leo, I think I see Stella in that kangaroo up ahead. I'll check. Katie's right. That's the kangaroo thief. Stella! Let's approach slowly. We don't want to scare her away. Go on, buddy. Go back to your mom. Aw, thanks, bud. Yes! I got Stella back! You did it! Well done, Junior Rangers! Hero! Hero, get out of the pouch! It's only meant for kangaroo joeys! <laughs> <laughs> this off you in no time. Just a little bit more, and you're free. Oh, it's a friendly giant guinea pig. It is friendly, but what is it really? Well, let's find out. I've just sent you its photo, Katie. Can you check it out? Let's see. Oh, it's a capybara. Capybaras are the largest rodents in the world. They're closely related to guinea pigs. Capybaras are social animals and are frequently seen hanging out with other animals. No wonder it's so friendly. They're also semi-aquatic which means that they live both on land and in water. They tend to spend a lot of time near rivers or lakes. Well, we better get back to patrolling the forest for fires. Bye, Capybara. Bye, buddy. Bye-bye. See you later. Oh, hello again. I think it likes you, Peo. Really? Oh. <laughs> Peo. We could drop it off at a river along the way. Yay! Come on, buddy. Time to go swimming. It doesn't want to go. Hmm. We just need to give it a reason to... Oh, oh, I know, I know. A ball? What's the ball for? It's for the capybara. If I throw the ball into the river, maybe it'll jump into it to chase after the ball. I guess we could give it a shot. Come on, buddy. Get the... <laughs> Hero? Huh? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing in the river, Ranger Rocky? Oh, I've been removing fishing wires. Animals could really hurt themselves by getting tangled up in these. Oh, hello there. Capybaras are strong swimmers. Their toes are partially webbed for paddling. Their small eyes, nose, and ears are located high on their heads, so they can easily keep their faces above water. 
This helps the capybara stay alert. <gasps> Smoke! <gasps> oh, oh. It's a forest fire! Oh, no! Everyone stay calm. I'll put out the fire. Hang tight, Junior Rangers. Be careful, Ranger Rocky! <laughs> we have to get the animals across the river to safety. Let's get all of them into Platypus One. Sounds like a plan. Good idea. Huh? Where's the capybara? Oh, there it is. <gasps> There's more smoke now. We'd better hurry. Everyone in? Oh, we'll come back for you later. Promise. Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! And away we go! <gasps> Guys, look! The Capybara's helping us! Awesome! Thanks, buddy! Oh no! Faster, Leo! The smoke is almost at the river! Okay, hang on! Whoa! <laughs> Let's get the rest of the animals! Okay. Roger that. Oh, are you here to help us again? <gasps> Guys, there's something in the water. What is it? It looks like a snake. Oh no, it's trapped in fishing wire. Hero, let's use our grabbers to untangle the wire. Kitty, take the wheel. Got it. Jetpack, activate. Almost, it's stuck. Look, the capybara is here to help. Huh? But shouldn't the capybara be afraid of the snake? It's biting through the wire. Yay! Farewell, snake. Thanks, buddy. You saved it. <gasps> Guys, look. Okay, Teo. Look. It looks like the capybara has made a new friend. Oh. Phew. We made it. Now let's get these animals out of Platypus One. Roger that. Roger that. Off you go. Look, the smoke is almost gone. Ranger Rocky must have put the fire out. Oh! Ranger Rocky, are you all right? I sure am, Leo. All clear. The fire is out. Good job, Junior Rangers. Yay! We did it! Good job, Ranger Rocky! <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! A mole! That's a mole, Hero. Moles live in holes and tunnels that they dig underground. We call those tunnels burrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm in South Australia right now, and you won't believe what I just found. It's a large burrow with mysterious tracks all around the entrance. And guess what? There are cube-shaped rocks stacked outside. Yuck! And they're stinky. I wonder what animal lives inside. I'll send you guys a photo of the stinky cube-shaped rocks. Stinky cube-shaped rocks? That's weird. Kyle, we'll look for more information about this mysterious animal. In the meantime, be careful and don't go into the burrow. We don't know what could be inside. Roger that. I'll be right outside waiting. We'll get back to you soon. Ranger out. It seems the rock isn't a rock after all. It's poop, and it belongs to the wombat. Wombats are the only animals known to produce poop that's cube-shaped. Wombats are also one of the largest burrowing mammals in the world. So Kyle found a wombat's burrow. He wouldn't go in without us, would he? Hello? Is anybody in there? 
Are these cube-shaped rocks yours? Hello? <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Hi, Leo. It's me again. Hi, Kyle. You're breaking up. Is everything all right? Yeah, uh, about that. We found more information about the animal you were looking for. It's a wombat. And the stinky rocks you saw are actually the wombat's poop. So I'm stuck in a wombat burrow? Cool. Stuck? What do you mean? Well, I was just waiting outside the burrow, but then I fell inside. By accident. And the entrance collapsed behind me. Oh, no! Are you okay, Kyle? I'm fine. It's just a little dark in here. But I have some snacks with me, so all's great. Good. Katie and I will be right over to get you out of there. Ranger, out. Oh, well. When in trouble, have some chocolate. It's so big. I wonder what animal lives in there. Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What were you doing in there? I was practicing my burrowing skills with these claws. What are you doing here? Junior Ranger Kyle is stuck in a burrow after finding some cube-shaped poop. But we're having trouble finding him. Cube-shaped poop? That has to be from a wombat. Wombats leave their cube-shaped droppings outside burrows to mark where they live so other animals stay away. When startled, they may dive back into it. Is everything all right? Not really. I ran out of chocolate. Are you here yet? Hey, what's the sound? <gasps> it's a baby wombat. Look, I found a new friend. Ah, uh, it's so cute. I'm glad you found a friend, Kyle. Hang in there, we're coming for you. Ranger out. There's no time to waste. Let's split up to look for him. Ranger Rocky, can you take that part of the forest? We'll take the other. Great idea, Leo. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Leo, it's a wombat. Could the burrow that Kyle is trapped in belong to that wombat? Let's follow it and find out. <gasps> It's a dingo! Hero, come back! No, Leo. We should be following the wombat instead. It might lead us to its burrow and Kyle. I'm sure Hero will be fine. He'll be able to handle the dingo. We have to save Kyle. You're right, Katie. Let's go. A wombat burrow. It's the exact same stack of poop. Kyle's hat. We are at the right burrow. Be careful, Katie. It might be the dingo. Ranger Rocky. Hero, you're all right. Hello, Junior Rangers. I saw a hero chasing a dingo away. Is everybody all right? Yes, we are. Is this the burrow Kyle is trapped in? Yes, it is. Well then, what are we waiting for? I'm glad I practiced my burrowing skills. Let's help them too, Katie. They're here. You see that, baby wombat? My friends are here to save me. Hero found something. Pants? Thanks for coming to get me, guys. Can I have my pants back? Hero tried to pull me out, but he pulled my pants off instead. It was nice meeting you today, baby wombat. Thanks for letting me stay in your home for a while. And thank you for getting me out of there, guys. Oh, I wish I could offer you some chocolate, but I'm all out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this mess. We should put these tools away, Leo. Sure, Katie. How did that get in there? Whoa! That's not a bone, Hero. Hey! Hero, no! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. How are you today? Back. Hero. 
Hey, Leo. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just so tired. I was sleeping in a tree in the Tasmanian forest, but there was a high-pitched screech coming from somewhere. And now all the animals are stressed and jumpy. Did you say a loud, high-pitched screech? Yeah, I'm calling because I can't tell which animal made the screech. And I can't locate it either, because it's coming from all directions. That's strange. It stopped for a while, but I'm worried, Leo. Can you help me identify the animal? I'll send you a recording of it. Aha! Got it! What was that sound, Leo? That screech was heard in the Tasmanian forest last night. Kyle is unsure which animal it comes from. I can run the recording through the computer to find out more. Awesome. Let's see what animal the screech belongs to. There. The screech belongs to a Tasmanian devil. That's a scary name for an animal that looks so cute. Well, they're not exactly cute and cuddly, Leo. Tasmanian devils are easily angered when they're threatened or when fighting for food. They'll show their teeth and growl, making the sound we just heard. The Tasmanian devil might be in trouble. That could be a cry for help. In that case, Katie, we should go check it out. Hi, Kyle. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I splashed some water on my face and I feel more awake now. Did you find anything? Guess what? The screech belongs to a Tasmanian devil. We think it could be in trouble. We'll be coming over to Tasmania to find it. Hey, guys. Welcome to Tasmania. Hi, Kyle. The screeching has stopped for a while now, so maybe the Tasmanian devil left. I'll scan the area using my audio frequency sensor. Found it. Good job, Katie. Let's head over there right now. It's coming from over there. Careful, Katie, watch out! <gasps> Thanks, Leo. Look, it's the Tasmanian Devil. Wow, that's deep. The Tasmanian Devil is trapped. That must be why he was calling out all night. We have to help get him out. Hmm, there has to be a way. Ah, that might work. Here, Tasmanian Devil, grab hold of the stick. I don't think that's going to work, Kyle. Besides, that looks dangerous. Just a little more. Ah! Gotcha. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Thank you for saving me, Ranger Rocky. You have to be more careful, Junior Ranger. Look. Whoa. Yep, that's a Tasmanian Devil, all right. Tasmanian devils have powerful jaws with sharp teeth. They have an extremely strong bite. In fact, it is so strong that it's able to bite through metal wires. Tasmanian devils are also known to eat a lot. They especially love to eat meat. It would be wise not to get too close to a Tasmanian devil. So we have to get the Tasmanian devil out, but we can't get too close to him. And Ranger Rocky mentioned that they eat a lot. I got it. We can put some food in the cage and lower it to lure the Tasmanian Devil in. Then we close the door with the remote and transport him back to his home. Great idea, Leo. Does anybody have any food? I've got some meat pies in my ATV. Meat, meat pies? pies? Yeah, it's for when I stay over in the bush. Mm. A little more to the left. You're nearly there. Touchdown! All clear! It's working! He's going in! Huh? Why won't it shut? What's going on, Katie? He's almost done eating the meat pies. Huh? What's that? Oh, it's Hero Saliva from this morning. That's why the remote is acting funny. Got it. Oh, no! I'm too late! It's okay, Katie. We can try again with another meat pie. But we don't have any left. Ranger Rocky, do you have any meat pies left? 
Sorry, Leo. I'm all out. Kyle? Mm. Nope. No, Hero, don't eat that. We need that meat pie to save the Tasmanian Devil. Hero, no. Hero's not eating it. He's helping us. Quick, Katie, open the cage door. Good job, Hero. Yes, we did it! <laughs> I guess that's his way of saying thanks. You're welcome! I'm glad we managed to save the Tasmanian Devil and return him to his home. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.